Hey YouTube, it's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 8 Developer Preview in a virtual machine on your Mac using Parallels. Now, just because I'm using Parallels doesn't mean you can't use it. It will work with basically any software that allows you to set up a virtual machine and the process is basically the same. However, unless you're using Parallels, chances are good it will be slightly different but you only really need two things, the software to set up your virtual machine and your copy of Windows 8 Developer Preview. So I will have a link down below in the more info to my website and it will have a link to this where you can come over and download Windows 8. Now you can download 64 or 32-bit versions and really the only difference between 32 and 64-bit is the way it handles your memory. So if you have over two gigabytes, then you will will need to download Windows 8 Developer Preview 64-bit. So once you have it downloaded, you can open up your program to set up your virtual machine. So I have Parallels Desktop open right here, and I'm just going to go File, New to create a new virtual machine. And then where it says Install From, I'm going to go ahead and choose an image file. Now, this is a recent image file, so I can automatically select that. However, you might have to go through and browse for it, and you'll have to find it from there. But again, mine is automatically selected, so I can just continue with that. Now, when it says operating system, if you can do this, make sure you go more windows and go other windows. Now, some will only let you do actual windows versions. If it does that, then just select windows seven. If not, then select other windows and then hit okay. And then here it just tells you the location of your virtual machine and you can set up a name for it. So we'll just call it Windows 8 and then you can just create it. So here it is and it is booting up and now it will actually go through the install process. And just a side note, the install process doesn't exactly take as long as with Windows 7, surprisingly. So it is faster. Now I wasn't actually here when it was installing, but I know for a fact that it installed a lot faster than Windows 7. So once it is loaded, then you can continue with the install installation process and we're just going to go ahead and select next and then you just hit install now and then accept the license terms hit next and then what we're going to do is go custom and then you're going to select disk zero unallocated space and you can just hit next and it will start to install now i actually already have it installed so i'm just going to go ahead and switch on over to my other virtual machine here where it's already set up Okay, and here we are. It actually took a lot longer than that to boot up, primarily because it was setting up my PC, and I guess it has to do that every time you turn on your computer. Here we are in the tile interface, and if you're familiar with Windows 8 at all, this is basically how it's set up. It's kind of like a mixture of a tablet operating system and a full-blown operating system that you'd find on a computer, such as Windows 7 or Mac OS X Lion. So here we go, and instead of the Start menu, you get this. And what you do is you just click on it, and it brings you back over here. So it's not necessarily the traditional Start menu, but it's still called Start. And once the store is open, and once the store is functional, then you will be able to add tiles there, and they will be live tiles that you can completely cut customize and to switch between things it's really cool you just take your mouse and you put it over to the left hand side and it will let you switch between your open uh, applications so here's an example of that and I'm gonna go ahead and open up control panel and show you guys a demonstration of split screen so we're going to drag our desktop over here and there we go and you can adjust the size right now there are really only two different size options because if you put it in between it will just make it the other size. So uh, it only has the smaller size option and the bigger size option. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it and show you guys. It's basically like Windows Phone 7. It has that nice bounce effect if you were to just click. And basically you just click and hold and drag up to unlock it. And then it puts you back inside of Windows. So that is Windows 8. I just wanted to show you guys how to get it installed on a virtual machine. And again, remember that this is just a developer preview. So they will 
make changes to it and additions to it in the future. But again, I hope you guys liked this video. If it helped you out, please remember to rate it up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.